Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the partial quotients algorithm for whole number division. This algorithm emphasizes the use of place value. It allows learners to work from either left to right or right to left, whichever is their preference. It can aid in the development of mental math skills when it comes to division. It utilizes the repeated subtraction model for division and it relies on multiples of 1, 10, 100, 1,000, etc. Let's take a look at this algorithm in action for, with the problem 5,486 divided by 26. So we are going to repeatedly subtract multiples of 26. We can either start with the largest or the smallest that will fit. The smallest multiple of 26 would be 1. We then might question, can we do 10 times 26 or even 100 times 26? What is the largest multiple of 26 that we can fit? In this case, the largest multiple that we can fit is 100 times 26. So we'll subtract that away to get a result of 2,886. Now we'll go through that process again. What's the largest multiple of 26 that we can subtract away? In this case, again, 100 times 26. Now that we've performed that subtraction, we have 286. Now we can no longer subtract a multiple of 100 times 26, so we'll move down a power of 10 and subtract 10 times 26. That leaves us with a result of 26, which is, of course, 1 times 26. 26 minus 26 leaves us with 0. Now we know we're finished. So what we're going to do here is add up how many multiples of 26 we subtracted. Well, 100 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1 is 211. So our answer to our division problem is 211. All right, let's try that one more time. This time, let's divide 1,835 by 14. So thinking through our multiples of 10 times 14 that we can take away, we can see here that we can subtract away 100 times 14. That leaves us with 435. Now, 100 times 14 is too large, so we'll move down a multiple of 10 and subtract away 10 times 14. That leaves us with 295, where we can again subtract 10 times 14. This leaves us with 155, so one final time we can subtract 140, or 10 times 14. Now our result is 15. Now we can subtract 1 times 14, or 14, with a result of 1. There are no further multiples of 10 that we can take away from 14, so this tells me we're going to have a remainder of 1. To get the whole part of our division, we'll add up how many multiples of 14 we subtracted, which is 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1, or 131. So our answer is 131 remainder 1. Alright guys, that does it for this video on a look at the partial quotients algorithm for whole number division. To see more like it, keep on watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.